Okay, so um, I saw some really significant things that are are pointing to this these next couple days of being high watch period. Again, not saying that the rapture is going to happen, but it's very interesting uh, what's happening number wise and and with the dates and everything. So um, we're looking at this here, this time frame. Um, the in-between time when Tishri 22 ends and Tishri 23 begins, which would be in the evening on Monday, and then um, going through the evening of Tuesday, you know, where it's sunset. But, so, so even though this is the seventh month of Tishri, it's the 22nd day, or the eighth day, the last great day, and... On tour calendar, it's the eighth month and the twenty-second day. So there's another eight twenty-two. So we have eight for the eighth day, twenty-second day, eight twenty-two, eight twenty-two, and these two have been kind of coinciding with each other and complementing each other, even though they're a month apart. And I just want to point up here real quick because on tour calendar, on uh, last Wednesday on the sixteenth. It was Heshvan 17, and during Noah's time, the civil calendar was being used because it was before Moses was told to begin the month in the month of Aviv. So uh, Heshvan was actually the second month instead of what it is now being the eighth month. You know, because once again, they mirror each other. The feast, the fall feast, and the spring feast mirror each other, and now. Um, we have uh, the eighth month and the second month, or the seventh month and the first month, mirroring each other, because they used to. So, back in Noah's day, this was the anniversary of the floodwaters being on the earth, because it was seventeenth day of the second month, and I believe that's Genesis chapter eight, and. Um, so just wanted to point that out and then here it was also on that same day because here's another compliment complimentary you know uh conjunction uh similarity between these two calendars is uh that was also 717 which we all know how we were all being shown the number 717 which uh begat the <laughs> uh all the hype with july 17th and that was the third day of Sukkot. So, um, which is a mirror image of the third day of Abiv, or Nisan. Which was the day that Yeshua ascended to the Father. Not his, um, not his ascension when he uh, ascended into the clouds in Acts, in the book of Acts. But when he told Mary that he she couldn't touch him because he had not yet ascended to his father and our father. So, because he had to be symbolically offered up as first fruits before, because he had to be pure and, and, and clean to be offered up as first fruits. So, that's why she couldn't touch him. Back down here. Um, and it's interesting also because on the Enoch calendar, it is. Heshvan, oh, right here, is uh, Heshvan 8, which is Shabbat, which begins on the evening here. So, where this one ends, where this Shabbat, because this is also a Shabbat, the last day, the last great day of Tabernacles is Shabbat. Um, so, when this Shabbat ends, this one begins, which is very interesting, because in Ezekiel chapter 46, it tells you specifically um, it mentions when the prince when the prince enters through the gates and it's it's talking about Yeshua when he comes in the clouds. If you um, read it carefully and ask the Holy Spirit to show you, that's what it's uh, alluding to. And um, it says that the gates are only open, the eastern gate, which is the gate that he will enter through. And this is in the heavenlies, of course. Uh, when he puts his foot down on the Mount of Olives, he, I'm sure, will walk through that actual gate, which they think that he won't do because he put graves in front of it. But um, 
he won't be coming back as a man like he did the first time. Anyway, um, it says in Ezekiel 46 that the gates are only open on Shabbat or a new moon. So there's that. So this is very high. So let's look at um, the number 822 in the Strong's and then we'll look at 1022 because even though it's 22nd here, it's also the 22nd here and here. So like I said, this very well, I'm not saying that it is, that it very well could be, oops, our Twilight Zone period. So, um, let's look at Strong's 822. Okay, you guys, this is a super, super exciting part. I mean, super exciting. And it cannot be coincidence. It's not coincidence. I don't believe it for one second. This is the Holy Spirit telling us to look at this. Look, look, look. Um, and... If nothing happens on in these next, you know, on the 22nd, 23rd of October, the next few days, if the rapture doesn't happen, it's okay because he's telling us, he's showing us the rapture in these numbers to get, to make sure that we're ready when it does happen because it's that close. So it doesn't have to happen on those, on these dates. The dates are just to point us to the fact that we are super, super, super close and to keep watching stay awake and watch therefore stay awake and pray he said okay so strong as number 822 in the greek means vapor or breath steam vapor as in our life is but a vapor um, fire and vapor of smoke blood and fire and vapor of smoke let's see what acts 219 says okay guys this is so exciting this is super super exciting okay so here we are acts 2 I was I talking about in the last video? Um, this this is when the the tongues of fire, flame of Yah, Strong's number two two three in the Greek, came down on the people. The Holy the Holy Spirit was poured out on them, and so then everybody's freaking out. And then Peter is preaching to them, to the crowd, and in verse nineteen, Acts two nineteen is uh, the word vapor which is 822, and I will show wonders in heaven above. <laughs> when he comes in the clouds, there's going to be wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath. I hope you guys are as, as excited as I am. And if it comes and goes, and we're still here, it's okay. Stay excited, because it's coming. Okay? It, it's not about setting dates. It's about being ready when it does happen. This is to get us excited. That's like a wedding couple, a bride before her wedding. You know, she knows exactly what date it is and what time it is. She knows the day and the hour of her wedding, you know, here on earth. But the days beforehand, she's so excited. Even though she knows those days beforehand is not the actual wedding, she's super excited. She's probably really stressed out too, but she's super excited because she knows she's getting ready to marry her bridegroom. So be excited, you guys. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. 822, Atmos. Look what 823 means. This is even, it's, it gets better. You guys, I'm like about to squeal. <laughs> so excited right now if these two numbers themselves are not a a a forewarning of the rapture i don't know what is so we just saw signs and wonders in the heaven and blood and fire and vapor of smoke vapor of smoke that could be that's the vapor of smoke is the pillar of smoke that Yeshua was in when he was with the people of Israel as they came out of Egypt. Um, and then our life is but a vapor, meaning when we die, we're here for a short time and we're here and then we're gone like a vapor. That's what it means. And then look what 823 means. And the reason we're looking at 823 is, uh, you know, the eight is not only because, um, it's October 23rd, and October is really the 8th month, but it's, remember, it's Heshvan 22 and 23 on Torah calendar, and Heshvan is the 8th month on the Jewish calendar. Okay, so look what it means. See, and this is just another variation of 822, which is Atmos. 
it means uncut, indivisible, an indivisible moment of time. You only use one time, and guess what it's talking about? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. <laughs> Hang on, let's go read it so we can get super, super excited. First Corinthians fifteen fifty two. This is like even more. I like this verse even better than Thessalonians four seventeen. Uh, hang on, let me get to. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is super exciting. And like I said, if we're still here after the twenty third, it's okay. Stay excited. Okay, resurrection of Christ. Resurrection of the dead, huh? The dead in Christ rise first. The resurrection body. I mean, do you see what we're talking about here? This is like this whole chapter is about the rapture, pretty much. Okay, 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible we must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. That's our glorified body. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. In other words, the rapture, because we don't die. Those who are raptured are alive. Those of us who are alive, are alive and remain Paul says there are some here who won't see death. Uh, o death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, my brother, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Yeshua HaMashiach, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the Universe. No, I'm not done yet. I know I say that at the end, but I just had to say it. Hang on. Baruch HaBai B'Shem Adonai Blessed are you that comes in the name of the Lord. Okay, we're not done. It's still going to be exciting. Okay, so that was the Greek we're looking at. This is Hebrew. 822 means a window lattice. You guys, this is all over the place, the window lattice. It has to do with the ark, Noah's ark, because he, he opened the window to let the dove out. And she came back with the olive tree, or the olive branch, not the tree. <laughs> she came back with the olive branch. Um, it has to do with Song of Solomon uh, looking through the window. Let's go there. That's in chapter 2, verse 9. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm about to cry, so try and keep it together. Okay, in Song of Solomon, Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 9, the bride's adoration. <laughs> and I'm going to just interject something, a thought here. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm right. It's just a thought. So, uh, it starts with the voice of my beloved. <laughs> the voice of the archangel. That's the last trump. His voice is like a trumpet. All through... You know, when he met the people on Mount Sinai on the third day, his voice was like a trumpet. What did I cover in the last series about voices and thunderings and lightnings? I'm sorry. I'm, the Holy Spirit's leaving me right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. The voice of my beloved, that's, that's the rapture. Behold, he cometh leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. I know this won't be him putting his foot down, but, you know, doesn't have to... We know how scripture is multi-layered. My beloved is like a roe or a young heart. Behold, he standeth behind our wall. And, um, I've been seeing lots of stuff about the wall. Because we are the temple. We are the spiritual temple. We know that. We are the new Jerusalem. The bride is the new Jerusalem. And before you can build a city, aka new Jerusalem, you build the wall. Because the wall is the fortress that protects the city. 
and of course we know that he is our fortress he is our wall he is the the rampart he is he is uh the wall and um this also could be a type and shadow of the firmament because it says he stands behind the wall uh you know we know that the firmament is it's called firmament because it's it's the dome that's over us that nothing can get in or out unless he says so which is why the windows of heaven had to be here's one, here it is the windows of heaven had to be opened during Noah's flood so what I just showed you in the Hebrew 822 the windows or lattice it has to do with the windows of heaven as in the days of Noah the windows of heaven being open so that the let the rains in the rains came from up under the rains the water that flooded the earth came not only from the heavens but from underneath the earth um, scientists have even confirmed that there's an ocean underneath our oceans so the ground broke up as it says in, in Genesis chapter 8 and water came up from the ground and from the heaven so the windows of heaven were open and uh, during the flood um, 822 means windows or lattice of windows um, here this is talking about him coming she's saying he's coming he comes and he looks forth at the windows showing himself through the lattice so 822 meant windows and lattice let's go look at that again a window lattice so do you see how it's all connected? It just can't be coincidence. It's him speaking to us. You know, because we're searching it out. And he blesses those who search his word. And because we're doing that, he's saying, he's speaking to us. Now here's where it says, Lo, the winter is past and the rain is over and gone. So, you know, when I had studied this over and over and spring would come and go I'm like darn it now we gotta wait till next spring <laughs> because this is clearly talking about springtime however he's in control of time and for those of you who have watched my now oh, there goes my battery again so I'm gonna have to cut this off but those of you who have watched my Yeshua's long day you know that he's in control of time and I just talked to our sister Kim Fisher and she was saying how she had been shown in vision uh, an infinity symbol and I'm going to show you that in the next video because it ties into it has specifically it is specifically shows how he did Yeshua's long day so sorry about that guys so if he wants to stop time and make it springtime because even in the southern hemisphere it's not springtime anymore it's um, summer now well it'll be summer pretty soon actually I guess they're still in spring until mid-December so see in the southern hemisphere it is springtime he can he can stop time he can flip it back and go backwards and rewind it and come forwards I'm gonna show you that in the next video I gotta cut this off before I it cuts me off so <laughs> I love you guys come back um, Wow I guess I didn't let my battery charge completely because I usually have like 30 minutes and we're only at 20 Anyway, um, yeah, it, I'm not through with the, the 822, 1022. We'll look at the Strong's 1022 in the next video, so I'll see you then. Love you guys. Shalom. It's so exciting. Keep your head up. Keep looking up because y'all redemption draws nigh. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus.